hello everyone welcome back to my channel again and in today's video we'll see an example of infix to prefix expression conversion from infix to prefix expression using stack so let's start so this is the infix expression that i have and i have to convert this into the prefix expression using stack so first what there are four steps to do this the first step is to reverse the infix expression first so we have this sample expression and first step is to reverse this so how it will be uh, it will be 5 then xor e plus d into this will be like this c xor b plus a and this so on reversing we get this uh, the expression like this now the second step will be make every opening bracket as closing bracket and every closing bracket as opening bracket so so it will be like 5 xor e plus d into just opposite c xor b plus a and opposite now what we have to do is we have to convert this expression into the postfix form right so uh, we'll take uh, three columns the first uh, first one is the uh, expression which is our input the next one is the stack and the third one is the output these three fields will be there so first our expression is 5 xor e plus d into c xor b plus a so initially our stack is empty our output is empty now we will pass uh, each and every token one by one so the first is the expression is the 5 so we will push 5 uh, in the output because only operators can be pushed into the stack so 5 will be in the output and our expression remaining expression will be uh, xor e plus d into b plus a this will be our remaining expression and uh, the stack will be empty again in the next iteration uh, the our next uh, is the xor so since this is the operator so it will go into the stack and the remaining will be e plus d into c x or b plus a and the 5 will be as it is in the output now the next is e which is an uh, operand so it will directly go to the output so remaining will be plus d into c is to b plus a this will be as it is 5 e will go into the output like this our next is the operator so we have to push the operator onto the stack and the remaining expression will be d into c xor b plus a so uh, when we uh, push the operator into the stack we need to first check whether the operator we are pushing has a higher precedence than the operator which is on the top so if it is not then we have to pop the operator out of it but if the operator that we are pushing has a higher precedence then we can put it on the top so the operator plus over here doesn't does not have the higher precedence uh, than the xor so what we have to do we have to pop this out so it will be 5 e this and the plus will be inside like this now our next is the d so the remaining expression would be c xor b plus a d will come over here 5 e xor d will come over here and plus will be already which was already there in the stack now the next is the multiplication so what we will do again we will see the multiplication uh, we have to push it into the stack we will see whether this it has a higher precedence than this one yes it has a higher precedence so we can push on top of this so now it will be the expression will be c b plus a so we can push it on top of this right 
and uh, this will be as it is 5e is 2d right now next is the opening bracket so whenever we uh, the one thing we should remember is whenever there is an opening bracket we can directly put into the stack so our next uh, the expression will be c is to b uh, x or b plus a and this will be plus the multiplication and this will be like this and the remaining is 5v is to d now the next is c so c will be c, c is an operand directly to go to the output so x or b plus a this will be plus into opening brackets 5e d and c now the next is the multiplication now in this case i want to push this multiplication onto the stack so remaining expression would be this much and this will be as it is sorry 5e x or dc and how it will get pushed into the stack it is plus into this it has a higher precedence than the opening bracket so it will be on the top of the opening bracket so this is what we have now the next is the b operand so it will directly go into the output so 5e is to dc and this will be plus multiplication opening bracket and the xor and the, since uh, the b is that the next token so b will directly go into the output it will be plus a now and the bracket now the next expression is the plus expression the plus we want to push it into the stack so we need to check if the operator that we are pushing into the stack has a higher precedence than the topest element on the stack so this doesn't has the uh, this does not has a higher precedence than this so we'll pop this out so this will be 5 e this d c b will pop this out so our remaining will be uh, so our next when we pop this out so next top element will be this so again we will check whether plus has higher precedence than this yes so we'll push in, we can push this into the stack so we will uh, we will what we will do uh, on checking that the uh, operator current operator has the higher precedence we have to pop up each and every uh, time so whenever we want to push the operator onto the stack we need to check each and every time whether we we need to go on popping the elements from the stack until and unless we will find an operator which has lower precedence than this because uh, only the higher can come on top of lower only so this is the case so this has the uh, lower precedence this has the higher precedence so we'll pop this up so again plus we'll be checking with this this again this is a higher precedence so this can come on top of the lower one right so our remaining element will be this will be a and brackets only plus multiplication opening bracket and again a plus okay now so the next is uh, the operand so it will be as it is 5e this d c b xor a will come over here mm, so yes a will come over here so next situation a will come over here this will be as it is a meaning will be plus into opening bracket and plus now in the next iteration only this will remain and whenever we find a closing bracket will pop up each and every element from the stack until and unless we'll find an opening bracket so the elements remaining will be plus and into rest every every element up to the this one will be popped up so 5 e this d c b or a and this will be plus we won't be we we should not print the brackets right so this is there now the remaining elements are plus and into so our final expression will be we'll pop this two out also so 5 e xor d c b xor a plus then into 
then plus so this is what we get on converting from and converting to uh, positive expression and in the final step what we have to do is we have to reverse the expression that we got that is if we reverse it we'll get plus into then again plus a xor b c d xor e 5 so this is what is our final expression this is our, our uh, expression in prefix form from infix to prefix this is a prefix form so uh, in order to know how to convert from infix to postfix what i have done uh, the thing that i have done over here so you can watch my video in the description below to convert from infix to postfix uh, also there are some other videos uh, from infix to prefix part one you can find out in the description below uh, so that's it for the video do like share and subscribe uh, comment down for any doubts and thanks for watching help others to learn goodbye